I wasn't so sure exactly what I was doing, but I'd had people over the years tell me that the pancakes were great. I decided to put it in a bag and I sent it off to a friend. And before I woke up, she had put it on Instagram and our butternut pancake mix was so good that people loved it. And at that point, I think it made sense that, you know what, there's nothing so bad in trying. And I gave it a shot. So if you told you have 13 years old stuff, what you're doing now, would she believe you? Absolutely not. Uh, my 13-year-old self was a medical doctor. <laughs> I grew up in Ibadan in a family of four children as the last child. My immediate sibling was 10 years older than me. So when they were in university, I was in primary school and I needed to occupy myself. I found cooking and baking a good way of occupying myself. Um, I would go and get flour, sugar and mix together and make chocolate cake. My mom at that time was the only person that was my customer or my friend or my first tutor and she would tell me how far to go in terms of creaming the butter and the sugar together to say Yinka it's not enough we need to go a bit more so that your cake can be light and fluffy because we didn't have a cake mixer at that time. Prior to 2020, when I left my day job in 2013, I went into consulting um, and I enjoyed it and it worked for a while. And then thereafter, in the mix as well, I did a cleaning services company, which I had a couple of clients as well. But when 2020 happened, I needed to think out of the box and I figured that, okay, maybe I should give this a try. I wasn't so sure exactly what I was doing, but I'd had people over the years tell me that the pancakes were great, starting with my children. A friend of mine, I sent her a pack of the very first bag that we did. In fact, right now, I know the date, it was 18th of September, 2020. I sent her a packed bag of pancake mix and I went to bed. And by the time I woke up, it was a daytime. She had called me over 50 times. She had put it on her Instagram page. She sent me a text saying she didn't expect it to be all that in quotes, but this is the best pancakes she's ever had. That no, we need to do this. And at that point I figured maybe yes, I might be onto something. I started registration, I think, I think June, July, got the registration around August. And then by the time I was sending off the very first pack, it had a label, it had a logo, it had everything. It looks actually very similar to what we have out there right now in stores, but it's just that a bit different. The very first big order, I think, was Futko Ibado. Futko has about 14 branches in Ibado, and they ordered for the pancake mix, chocolate cake mix, puff puff mix, and it looked like a lot at that time. When the order came, I was hyperventilating. I'm like, how are we going to do this? How many cattles of this? How many cattles of that, you know? But interestingly, we did it. Um, I went for the delivery. Everything was happening so fast. Um, they offloaded. I met the warehouse guy. It was a massive warehouse in Monoton. They had all sorts of other people. And I looked around. In fact, the boxes we used then were not branded boxes because that was our major first order. We just had stickers on them stickers of uh, different products. Every time I meet a kid or, or an adult, um, and I do that from time to time, I meet people and they're like, oh, we buy your product, we buy it in Rene, oh, your sweet pot. The joy and the expression and what it brings to their life is something that makes my day. For every single bag that we sell and I meet the person that buys it or even at an event, it means the world to me. Because at that point, I know I'm making impact. At that point, um, I have a community to serve. So that's how we want to express ourselves. We're expressing ourselves through our products to say, you know what, it's simple, it's easy to make, it's quick, but at the same time, as we would say, absolutely delicious. And that's what we do. We provide absolutely delicious products. I started Sweetport in my kitchen. 
but because of my structured background I needed to put some paperwork in place but I didn't have an invoicing app or anything so at that time I had a flutterway store I set up the store by myself and if people ordered via WhatsApp or a phone call or anything, I would go into my Flutterwave store and generate an invoice for them, put the payment instructions and send it to them. And at that point, I knew Flutterwave was something we needed in our business for good. I'm Yinka Anidube Olaniyo, founder, CEO, Sweetport and more. And all I can tell you is start anywhere using whatever you have having the purest of mind to deliver value and you'll be just fine. <laughs>